In the three years Donald Trump has been president, America has changed in many ways. The country is more divided than ever. Official government policies are now announced on Twitter, and the red phone in the White House now connects you directly to KFC. <laughs> but one change we didn't expect from Trump's presidency was an explosion of books. From anti-Trump books to books calling him the second coming of Christ, we've seen it all. And who could have ever predicted that so many books would exist thanks to a president who can't read? <laughs> now, anyone can write a book, and I do mean anyone. But what's interesting <laughs> is how many of these books were written by people who worked inside the White House. And the latest book making headlines comes from Nikki Haley, former ambassador to the UN and woman who just captured James Bond. And <laughs> she's not holding back. In her memoir out this week, Nikki Haley takes on former Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and former White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, claiming the two men undermined and ignored President Trump from inside the White House. Haley writes, Kelly and Tillerson confided in me that when they resisted the president, they weren't being insubordinate, they were trying to save the country. They should have been saying that to the president, not asking me to join them on their sidebar plan to undermine a president is really a very dangerous thing. Okay, this is a bombshell I did not expect. Rex Tillerson and General Kelly were resisting Trump in the White House? That is shocking. Although it does explain why they were wearing those pussy hats, but still, I mean... <laughs> this is big news. Because this book, this book basically makes it sound like two of Trump's top officials were constantly trying to stop Trump from causing trouble or getting into trouble. You know, it's like that thing parents do you know, when they swap a real thing with a toy from their baby, you know, when parents do that? Be like, oh, oh, give me daddy's cell phone back and you can have the big boy phone. <laughs> and the kid is happy. They're just like, hello, is this the president of Ukraine? Hello? <laughs> give me that doo-doo on Biden. I want that doo-doo on Biden. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye. He told me the cow says moo. <laughs> That's basically what was happening. And, and I gotta say, this is a really complicated issue. Because on the one hand, I understand where Nikki Haley is coming from. America voted for Trump, right? He won the Electoral College, and so his policies are what people voted for. So his staff shouldn't try to undermine him. On the other hand, this is also the same president who suggested nuking hurricanes. So maybe <laughs> blocking him is a good idea? I don't know! <laughs> and while Nikki Haley's book is all about allowing Trump to be Trump, there's another book making headlines right now with the total opposite message. And this book is coming from inside the White House. A warning creating instant shockwaves. The anonymous author, who claims to be a senior Trump administration official, paints a picture of a president who is unstable and inept. The writer describing a near daily five alarm fire drill, where senior officials cancel plans and race to the White House to prevent the president from enacting his latest wacky or destructive idea. The author saying behind closed doors, the president makes racist and misogynistic remarks, describing him as reckless and without full control of his faculties. Oh, my God. <laughs> Trump is erratic, racist, and misogynist? <laughs> Thank God we have this inside source. How else would we have known? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Seriously, I... I don't get it. We all know this stuff already. Like, these are not revelations. This is like a spy coming out of Russia, like, you didn't hear it from me, but Russia is very big. <laughs> I should go, I've said enough. <laughs> so look, the truth is, if you wanna learn something new about Trump, this book is probably not gonna do it for you. But one person who might actually have revelations about Trump is John Bolton, former national security advisor and permanent got milk ad. <laughs> he claims to have unique insider information relevant to the impeachment probe, but he's not telling Congress about it he might be saving it for his upcoming book. An attorney for former National Security Advisor John Bolton revealed on Friday that Bolton was, quote, personally involved in many of the events, meetings, and conversations at the center of the impeachment probe, as well as many relevant meetings and conversations that have not yet been discussed publicly. Bolton had been scheduled to testify as part of the impeachment probe last Thursday, but he did not appear. Bolton has a new book deal with Simon & Schuster, and according to reports, that deal is worth about $2 million. He oh, I see. 
So Bolton might spill the beans on impeachable offenses by the president, but only for $2 million. <laughs> yes, he's truly the hero America deserves. <laughs> Imagine if, if someone like that called 911, just like, hello, police, there's a killer on the loose. Okay, sir, where is he? Venmo me 20 bucks and I'll tell you. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not impressed by the news of Bolton's book because what's the point of releasing anything on Trump if it comes out next year, right? Impeachment is gonna be happening now. And worst of all, Bolton totally stole his cover from Michelle Obama. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> that is not his look. So look, look, the truth is, whether it's Anonymous, Nikki Haley, or John Bolton, beneath it all, these books are all trying to do the same thing. Profits off the chaos. Because these books don't help the country, they just trade on rumors and innuendo to make the authors money. Like, if someone has valuable information about the president, they should just tell the American people instead of holding out for a big payday. Yeah. It's about the president, it's about the country. And... And you know what? I actually think I know how we fix this. Like, I, I'm gonna tell you how we fix this in my new book. <laughs> called Buy My Book, a book I want you to buy. For just $29.99. For just $29.99, you will learn shocking facts, like Trump is a bad person. Trump has divided America, and Mike Pence seems like a weird guy. <laughs> but most importantly, my book finally reveals how Americans can get Trump out of office. So make sure you get a copy when it comes out in 2025.